In the early 1900s, Swiss chemist Jock Brandenburger worked to solve a common complaint in restaurants. Diners often spilled wine on tablecloths, and the fabric absorbed stains instantly. Brandenburger set out to create a coating that could make cloth waterproof and easier to clean. His plan focused on applying a thin, transparent film to fabric without changing its texture. He experimented with viscose, a liquid derived from wood pulp that formed cellulose when processed. He tried to spread the solution over cloth to create a protective layer. Instead of bonding neatly to the surface, the mixture peeled away in a thin, flexible sheet. The result did not improve fabric or prevent stains. It failed completely as a textile coating, yet the transparent sheet caught his attention. Brandenburger examined the discarded film and saw qualities that the fabric experiment did not deliver. The sheet was strong, glossy, bendable, and surprisingly resistant to water and grease. It behaved more like a standalone material than a coating. He shifted his research from textiles to perfecting this unexpected new film. He developed machine rollers that could form long, even sheets of the material. When dried and polished, the film became clear, smooth, and resilient. Brandenburger named the product cellophane, combining cellulose and diaphane, the French word for transparent. At first, cellophane struggled to find a market because it lacked moisture resistance. It absorbed humidity and softened easily. A later improvement by chemists who developed a moisture-proof coating changed everything. Once this new layer was added, cellophane became ideal for protecting food, cosmetics, and countless goods. Soon, manufacturers adopted it for candy wrappers, bakery packaging, cigarette seals, and gift displays. Stores embraced it because customers could finally see products through protective wrapping. Freshness improved, shelf appeal increased, and merchants began relying on cellophane to elevate presentation and hygiene. Cellophane spread globally as industries recognized its convenience, transparency, and safety. The material that began as a failed attempt to improve tablecloths became one of the world's first major packaging innovations. It transformed shopping, food preservation, and merchandising on an international scale. A discarded film on a piece of fabric became the key to a new era of wrapping. What started as a failed finish turned into a material that changed the way products were displayed, stored, and sold.